So you're wondering if you should hook up your communication cables with your EG4 batteries to maybe your grow out inverter, whatever kind of inverter you have. Hey, we're gonna go over that in this video. My name is Rodney, welcome back to the channel. So of course, like I do, I started out first couple weeks, I had these batteries and I didn't have the communication cables hooked up because I was like, ah, not really important. I just want the stuff to work. You know, it doesn't matter to me. Finally, I hooked them up because I wanted to actually see what the battery uh, uh, usage was and what my battery, you know, state of charge was. And so I went on there and hooked all the cables up and you can do it while it's running. I hooked them all up while it's running and then changed the settings and everything worked. And the only setting I had to change that I didn't really know about that it kind of changed itself when I changed it to lithium battery. So we'll kind of go over that in a minute. But anyway, one of the settings got changed and it got changed where my inverter would turn off at 20% of batteries. And sometimes my batteries do get that low at night, early in the morning before the sun comes back out, just depending on how much power my family uses, you know, that night before. But anyway, that's one of the most important things uh, with these communication cables and minimum communicate basically with your inverters over here. So it'll tell you right on the screen. I'll go ahead and show you that. It'll show you right on the screen, basically what your battery uh, state of charge is. And so if you have the app, you can also look on that. And for the grow lot, it's not the best app in the world, but it does work, I'd say 95% of the time. Not the greatest thing in the world. I wish they would improve that. That's one thing I wish they'd improve about the grow lot is the app. But, you know, like a bunch of companies now, they spend more money on the hardware than software and apps and all this other stuff. But it is good enough to be able to pull it up most of the time and see what your battery state of charge is. So to me, you know, with this whole battery rack I have here, it is pretty important. I do have some more batteries behind me on the ground back here that I have a couple more EG4 batteries and I don't have them hooked up to the communication cables because I didn't have enough and I might have to order some more, but it's still working fine even without that because they're basically all the same state of charge. You know, they may be off 1% here or there, but pretty much the exact same thing because I've hooked the computer up to the stuff and looked at it, basically it's the exact same thing. So what are the communication cables for? They're basically to show you as much information about your batteries as easy as possible. You can also hook it up to a PC to be able to look at the status and everything you can about each battery, you know, the different cells. It's gonna give you all the information you could ever want. But if you just want to know the very basic stuff like the state of charge of all your batteries combined, which most people, that's what they would wanna know, bam, it's gonna show you that right on your inverter or on your app for your inverter, depending on what kind you have. It'll make uh, uh, the communication with the grow watt and everything. So the inverter is gonna know exactly what it needs to run. All right, now we'll go ahead and talk about how I hooked them up and programmed it. Bottom line is you got the RS-485 ports, you know, just go from one to another. You know, it doesn't matter which one you hook it into, hook them all up. And then your final one that you have, you know, you wanna make sure the dip switches are all down. That's gonna be your uh, battery that's controlling everything. And all your other dip switches, make sure they're just different. Like this one's on one. Uh, this right here is basically two, that one's three, et cetera, et cetera. As long as they're not the same. And then bottom line is this last cable from the one that's controlling it is gonna go over to your grow watt inverter and it's gonna hook up to, I think it says BMS on the bottom. And you're gonna go to your settings on basically your grow watt that you have it hooked up to, go to your main settings and go to number five. And gonna change this to lithium if you didn't already have it there, which you probably didn't have it there if you didn't have communication cables set up. And once you select that with the enter button, it's gonna take you to step 36. And once you get to, to that, if you're running the grow watts like I am, you know, you're gonna go on your, um, the, the L01 on, on, on program 36 and select that. And that's gonna be for your grow watts, press enter. And of course, like I said, it went and changed like step 21 on, on mine. So I guess it'll change all of them where it might've had a, a, a battery voltage before. Now it's gonna have a percentage. I changed mine down to 5%. It's, it's a default at 20%. So, you know, just depending on where you want your grow watt to turn off. So your, my grow watts are gonna turn off when the batteries get to 5%. 
my grow watt inverters, I automatically gonna turn off. You know, I try not to go that low, but just in case I need to go below 20%, I just wanted it set lower for myself. And it also changes, I think, a few settings if you're doing like AC charging di directly from your grow watts, which I'm not doing. You know, you may have to go in and change some of those things because it might change that to percentage as well, like the percentage where it starts and the percentage where maybe it goes up to. So you might have to change that if that's what you want to do. But hey, let me know down in the comments below if you're using your communication cables, and if not, if you're gonna start using them. And if you like this kind of video, hey, go ahead and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and thanks for watching.